In this session, I will show you how to renew the certificates of your vCenter server using VMware Certificate Manager. First, let's try to access our vCenter server. You might see an error message like, no healthy upstream. This error usually occurs because some required vCenter services are not running. And one of the main reasons could be expired certificates. To confirm this, I'll log into the vCenter server appliance and verify that some of the critical services have stopped running. Now, let's check if any of our vCenter certificates have expired. First, we need to enable SSH access to the vCenter server. Then, use a tool like PuTTY to log in. Once logged in, enable shell mode. Now, let's run the command to display the certificate details, including their expiration dates. Don't worry, this command is available in the video description for you to copy and paste. In my case, you can see that the machine SSL certificate has already expired. Next, we'll reset the expired vCenter certificates. Access the vCenter certificate manager by running the following command. Once inside the certificate manager, it will ask you to select which certificate you want to replace. For this lab, I'll replace all certificates by selecting option 8. Press Y to confirm the certificate replacement process. Next, you'll need to enter some basic information. vCenter single sign on username. I'll enter the username here. Then, I'll input the password and press enter. Now, it will ask for additional details like country, organization, and locality. For country, the default is US, and I will keep it as is. For name, the default is CA, and I'll keep that too. Similarly, I'll use the default values for organization, organizational unit, state, and locality. You can modify these if needed, but it's not mandatory. Now, we need to input the vCenter IP address and hostname. For the hostname, you can open a duplicate SSH session to the vCenter and run the command. Hostname -f. I'll copy the output and paste it into the hostname field. Then, we need to insert the vCenter name. Here, simply enter the hostname and remove the domain search path before pressing enter. To continue, confirm the operation by typing Y and hitting Enter. The process will now begin replacing all the old certificates with new ones. This might take a few minutes, so be patient until the certificate reset status shows complete. Once the process is complete, I'll try accessing the vCenter web console again. And there you go. I can now access the vCenter without any issues. That's how you renew expired vCenter certificates using the VMware Certificate Manager. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.